Toulouse began their Ligue 1 campaign last week with a draw at La Mosson against champions Montpellier and welcomed Saint-Étienne with the hopes of claiming victory in their first home game of the season. Saint-Étienne, meanwhile, were undone by Lille at home in the 90th minute last week and were keen to live up to pre-season expectations of challenging for a European spot. Toulouse took the lead in the 35th minute as Etienne Capou, who starred for France in their midweek friendly against Uruguay, drilled home a low corner cross delivered by Frank Tabernou. Saint-Étienne keeper Stéphane Ruffier could do little but watch Capou's effort sail into the back of the net as his defenders failed to deal with the cross. Into the second half and Toulouse soon had their sights on goal again. After several exchanges of possession, Cheg Mbengue sent Tabanu down the left flank. His excellent cross was met by Wissam Ben Yedda, who could only direct his header straight at Rufia. Toulouse doubled their lead just before the hour mark after Daniel Bratton won back possession deep in his own half and powered forward unchallenged. After a lovely interchange of passes, Bratton centred for Ben Yedda, who made no mistake from just inside the area. Two goals in two matches for the 22-year-old Tunisian, who was playing amateur football in the Paris suburbs until only a few years ago. Toulouse had the opportunity to settle the game once and for all in the 73rd minute when substitute Emmanuel Riviere was brought down in the area by Kurt Zuma. Capu stepped up but saw his spot kick saved by Riviere. In the final minutes of the game, Saint-Étienne rewarded a penalty of their own when Romain Hamouma was fouled by Capou. Ivorian international Max Alain Gradel converted, but it was a case of too little too late for Lever. 2-1 at the final whistle. A deserved victory for Toulouse then, but serious questions will no doubt be asked in the Saint-Étienne camp this week as they slumped to a second successive league defeat.